Uh, greetings, Matt fans. All right, so this is day two of optimization. Okay, so we did an entire lesson yesterday with optimization, and I want to show you just one more example. It's going to be similar to a problem you're going to have in your homework, um, but I think it's a, it's a good problem. All right, so Walmart has a sale on Sony 105-inch TVs. Their slogan is, the more you buy, the more you save. A Sony 105-inch TV costs $1,000. Okay, so that's how much Walmart is selling it for. You have to buy at least 11 TVs to receive the discount. For each additional TV, up to 60 TVs, beginning with the 11th one, the cost for each TV is reduced by $5. So what I mean is, the first 10, 10 TVs, if you buy 10 TVs, you get normal price. If you buy 11 TVs, that means all 11 of them are reduced by $5. So that's why I even have an example here. If you buy 11 TVs, the total cost is $11 times 5 bucks off of all of them. So 11 times 995 is 10,945. Of course, then you buy 12 TVs, it's 12 times and again, it's five dollars less than that. So it's 990. It's 11,880. All right. All right. So that's how much Walmart is taking in. Uh, Walmart pays Sony 500 dollars per TV. That's how much it costs them. They also have to pay Sony an import fee of 2,000 dollars for each order. So you can order one TV, a thousand TVs. You got to pay 2,000 dollars flat fee. Uh, for an import fee. All right, Kona is placing an order for TVs for some of their classrooms. Uh, hopefully they put one in, in my classroom. Um, how many TVs would Walmart like Kona to buy to maximize Walmart's profit? Okay, Walmart's interested in maximizing their profit. But of course, the more TVs Kona buys, right, it, the, the better off it is for Kona, right? Because obviously you're spending more money, but you're getting more of a discount for every TV up to 60 TVs. Okay, so it could be a pretty good discount if you buy 60 TVs. Um, but we're, look, we're concerned with Walmart here right now. So let's start out here. Let's move this down a little bit. And first of all, let's just say um, X is equal to the number of TVs. Okay, and my revenue, which is actually it's Walmart's revenue, is $1,000 per TV, um, and by the way, yeah, this, yeah, this is revenue per TV. Okay, but the revenue is $1,000, but there's a discount of $5 for every TV over 10. So it's X minus 10, okay? Because think about it, if you bought 10 TVs, there's no discount. So if I use this, this uh, little formula here, 1,000 minus five times zero, there's no discount. You pay $1,000 per TV. Okay, if I bought 11 TVs, it'd be 11 minus 10, so 1, so 1,000 minus 5 is 995, which is exactly what we have on that first line there, et cetera, okay? So that's our revenue per TV for Walmart. Uh, the cost, uh, and this is our total cost, I mean, I could write cost equals $500, right, plus the 2,000, but it's cost total, it's um, $2,000, that's how much uh, Walmart has to pay Sony. They have to pay $2,000, which is a fixed fee, plus um, $500 for every TV. Okay, there's no discount with Walmart. It, Walmart's paying full price. They're, you know, it's, uh, we're getting the discount. Okay, so we have two different things here. Uh, let's talk about our profit now. Because that's what I'm trying to do. It says, how many uh, TVs would Walmart like Conan to buy to maximize Walmart's profit? So maximize Walmart's profit. So obviously we're being maximizing, okay? So let's just kind of keep that in mind. So profit is equal to, um, let's talk about the, it's revenue, well here, let's write that, revenue minus uh, cost, right? That's your profit. Okay, so we're gonna have profit, and our revenue is 1,000 minus five times X minus 10. Now, if you remember from yesterday, uh, the examples, that's profit for one. That's why I put per TV. So it's times X, because X number of TVs, okay? Minus uh, 2,000 plus 500X. And again, the cost is already, that 500 is already included there, right? I could have just left that X out of here, but that doesn't make sense. Total, we're looking at total cost here. All right. So I'm going to actually rewrite this as P of X, just a little bit easier to write down. Um, 
And again, that this first thing here is our total revenue. And so we're going to say P of X is equal to, we're going to multiply it out and then add it. I'm just going to do it all right here. It's going to come out to uh, 1,050X minus 5X squared minus 2,000 minus 500X. Okay, and I can simplify that. P of X is equal to negative 5X squared plus 550X uh, minus 2,000. Okay. Okay, then we take the derivative of that, so it's going to be p prime of x is equal to negative 10x plus 550. Okay, because we're taking the derivative because we're trying to find the extrema, we're trying to find the maximum profit. All right, of course, we're going to set that equal to zero, so you get 10x equals 550, x equals 55. Okay, then we're going to check that 55, we do interval testing. 4 and 56, and you plug that into the derivative, of course, and it goes positive there and negative there. When you take your hand, it goes positive to negative. That means it's a maximum. Okay? And so this is the deal, though. Remember what I told you? Endpoints are always important. They're really, really important. Unless you're talking about some dimension that you can't, where you can't have a zero dimension, which doesn't make sense, endpoints are important. And in this case here, so let's, you know, we're going to check endpoints. Okay, because we're looking for, really, we're looking for an absolute max. It's nice we have our relative max, but we want to make sure that's the absolute max. So, um, and one endpoint is selling nothing. And then, of course, I want to check P of 55. That's our relative extrema. And then what's the maximum we can have? Well, the maximum we can have is um, 60 TVs. Okay, that's the maximum we can have. That's an endpoint. Okay, and if you put a zero in there into the original equation, uh, you actually get negative 2,000. Ooh, that's bad for Walmart. Okay, if you sell zero TVs and you place an order for zero TVs, um, Sony sends you a bill for $2,000 because that's the import fee. Well, it doesn't even make sense. That wouldn't even happen. But that's what you got to check. Okay, if I plug in P of 55, I get 13,125. And if I say, hey, we bought 60 TVs, Walmart would make a profit of $13,000 even. So this, math fans, is our max profit for Walmart. Okay, so our answer to this problem then is what they ask you for is how many TVs to maximize profit? It'd be 55 TVs. Okay, so that's your example. Um, you know, just a lot of things to be careful about. Endpoints, uh, if I talk about Revenue, make sure you do revenue, uh, total revenue, so multiply it by X. Um, make sure you have total cost and uh, you subtract and distribute and you're kind of good to go. Do your interval testing and you're good. All right, that's it, math fans. One example today. Have an outstanding day. Goodbye.